All right, so do you need to do agility, change of direction, quick feet work in the off season if you're a basketball player or a volleyball player or some sort of other court sport that gets played all year round? My general answer to this is no, and I'm gonna tell you why. So if you're practicing your sport in the off season, I just don't think you need to do all of this. Most of the drills that you're gonna be doing in practice that are involving one-on-one -on -one or two-on-one or whatever situations are going to involve the perception action component of agility work. And it's going to involve all planes and directions of movement. And if these drills are done at low, medium, and high intensities, you're probably going to be provided with a good dose of stimulus for the tissues to be healthy. So while agility work may not be necessary, I do believe that sprinting, like true maximum effort sprinting, is necessary. Basketball and volleyball players rarely get true maximum effort sprinting opportunities in practice. And the benefits of true maximal intent, maximal effort sprinting just can't be matched via other methods or exercises. And I'll refer you to my video on why you should sprint for the benefits of sprinting. But we only have so much time, energy, and resources to put forth practice and training. I don't think we need to double up on the agility work if we're already getting that type of stimulus while practicing. When talking about what to do outside of practice, strength training and sprinting should come as a higher priority than agility work. And a lot of quote unquote agile or quicker athletes really aren't that much quicker if we were to test them via some sort of performance measurement. They're more likely just better at reading situations in their sport, allowing them to appear quicker by successfully or appropriately reacting to these situations and beating their opponent to a spot or cutting off an opponent or positioning their body in a way to be successful. So if a coach or a player says they wanna get quicker or more agile in the off season, that doesn't necessarily mean that they should put more of an emphasis on agility type drills. Sprinting and strength training can play a role in this, but also it's important to make sure that they're getting high quality, high intense reps in practice. It's important to remember that what you see on the surface may not always be exactly what you think it is. So do what you want with that information. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Please hit like, subscribe, and share this video for me. I appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.